If you're looking for a way to add some subtle branding to your shows, consider adding a watermark. A watermark is simply an image that appears on every slide in your show. Typically, this will be a logo or some other form of identifying mark. For example, you'll often see a network logo appear as a watermark in the lower left or lower right corner of the screen when watching TV. To add a watermark, in the Publishing Workspace, click on the watermark icon up here in the toolbar. This shortcut will open the Show Options window with the watermark tab already selected. To the right of the preview, you'll see the watermark with image pane. To add a new watermark, click on this Browse button and then choose an image. For this example, I'm going to choose a PNG file that has a transparent background. I can choose any image to be my watermark, but having a transparent background will help my logo blend in with the images in my show. Once added, the first thing you'll want to do is resize and move the image so that it will blend into your show. Because a watermark is basically just an image layer, in the preview you can click and drag to move the image and use your mouse wheel to resize it. For more precision, use the position and size options located below the preview. Now that that's in place, let's see how the show looks. A watermark is a show setting. That means it will appear on every slide in my show. As I preview my show, notice that the watermark appears over here in the bottom right hand corner. If I go back to the build workspace and add more slides, you'll see that the watermark will be added automatically. By default, watermarks appear partially transparent. This is to make sure they are seen without causing too much of a distraction during playback. If the default settings don't work for your show, you can always customize how your watermark appears. To edit a watermark, you can return to the Publish tab and select the watermark icon. Or you can select Show and Watermark from the File menu. Because this is a very simple black and white logo, let's change the watermark and use an image with more color. Using the Adjustments options, I can change the opacity of my logo, as well as adjust the brightness, contrast, white and black points, and hue. With the editing tools, I can also rotate the watermark. I can flip it, or colorize it. When previewing the show again, you can see that the colors in the watermark are a little bit more noticeable this time but because of the size, location, and settings, we're able to have a little bit of branding without distracting the viewer. And that's it for this lesson. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.